Good morning. I am Cecil and Blues. Thank you for joining me for this Wildstar Guide. Today we are collecting the 12 journal entries for the Dominion Zone, Deradun. This guide will cover the locations of the 14 pages that make up those 12 entries. To start off, we're going to be east of Bloodfire Village in the Bloodfire Savanna. There is a hill directly east of the village. If you go up and over that hill onto the other side, you will find a poacher's camp and the poacher's journal. Next, you're going to need to enter the Lost Caverns, and to do so, you will need the help of an explorer. Once inside the Lost Caverns, you will still need the assistance of an explorer to open this back area, where you will find Vezar's journal, along with Vezar. Next, if we head to Spearclaw Post, there is a research station at that quest hub, and on it you will find Giba Corley's research notes. Next, we will want to head to the southwest area of Deadwind Hollow, where we will find the museum item in this zone, which is the leg bone of Shalabog. Surely you wouldn't turn down a chance to help the Artemis. Boog, maybe? Following the quest structure, we will then head south to the Jagged Rock Mine. Uh, near the entrance of that mine, you will find the Exile Miner's Diary. Uh, this mine is located on the Jagged Rock Cove, or coast, uh, since the map cannot be pulled up once I am inside. Uh, from here, you can stop off at the Arran Enclave, shown here on the map, uh, near Ulana Shadeleaf's spawn point, you will find her diary. Heading back north, we will now go into the Feral Plain Collective, and if we go inside Mondo Zack's laboratory, we will find Goaty Tan's lab notes. From there, we'll want to head over to the Hill Scourge Station. Next to the Bounty Board, you will find, sitting on uh, a table, the Bio-Study Terminites. Sticking at the Hill Scourge, you will want to head inside Exolab 79. It is at uh, one of the mounds. And we are we want to be inside the Data Central, and we are picking up Martinez's journal. From there, further north, uh, we're going to go to Blood Talon Perch. In the southeast of Blood Talon Perch, next to the river, you will find the journal entry Groundwalkers. From there, we'll want to head south to the Wildwood Grove. In the center of the grove, you will find the Wildwood Journal. Next thing you'll want to pick up is the Secret Stash for the zone, which is located along the Niwa River. You can see on the map where it is, it is over here on the east side uh, behind a rock. Heading to the final quest hub of the zone, Endless Vigil. On the west side of the town, the area marked the Ancestral Cairns. There are three journal entries spread out at each of the burial sites. These, technically speaking, are counted as one journal entry but each one you pick up does have their its own story associated with it. And you can read each story individually, but since they're all right here, it's not likely that you'll miss one. And the next thing we have is out in Leviathan's Rest. It's very near to the Exolab A37 entrance, as shown here on the map. 
This actually starts as a hand sticking out of the tar, which is marked by a quest exclamation point. Once you accept that quest, it will turn into this journal entry, which is labeled Lost to the Pits. That concludes this guide. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button. It will help me out. If you are looking for more Wildstar coverage, you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel, and then you will be notified when new videos are uploaded. You can also follow me on Twitter, at It's Boats. And once again, I thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.